So basically, um, we're going to, instead of dividing my 50 gram skein into two 25 gram balls to knit my socks, I'm going to knit from the inside and the outside of that ball. Um, a way to make it not tangle is just to run these threads through a nice big button with big holes. So I'm going to do that and show you. I have dug out the ends before I started recording. Sometimes I need a darning needle to do this. And I'm probably not gonna be able to do it looking at the camera. Hang on one second. So, that's the outside. This is the inside of the ball. So it sounds obvious, but just make sure that your yarn is going through the holes in the same direction. I said, sometimes I'll use a darning needle, sometimes I can just twist it to give it a bit of uh, structure to get through that hole. Hang on one sec, again, trying to look at it through the camera. There it is. <clears throat> so now I've got both strands running through the center of this button and I'm just going to knit. I'll be back and show you the easiest way to turn so you don't tangle. Okay, so I've just finished my first round casting on, well, I've finished my first half of my first round. The stitches on the back are still black, stitches on the front are blue. I'm just getting ready to turn my needle. I'm just gonna show you, so you can see there's a little bit of a twist there just before the button. So all I do is I make sure that whatever way that twist is, I twist my work the opposite way and that stops it from getting very tangled. See, I've taken that twist out of the working yarns. So that's all the button is doing. It's just controlling the twist and stopping it from getting back to the ball. It can, keeps the twist to the front so you can just turn left hand or right hand depending which way you uh, turn your work and that controls the twist and allows you to work from one skein of yarn so you only have one ball of yarn for leftovers, not two teeny tiny ones. I hope that helps.